Cosplay. I'm so glad you can join me. Let's review these Christian Louboutin Luby Flip Donna Flats. I picked up on my sailings and I love to find unusual things to shop for. I picked up these Christian Louboutin Spike Flip Flops. I wouldn't call them flip flops because they cost too much to call them flip flops. I would call them sandals. What caught my attention was the spikes at the top, the red thick sole bottom. So if, as much as you wear them, they will not wear out. They're very durable. And I really, really love the gloss versus the matte. And the name is at the top and at the bottom. I wear a size 40 and I picked these up. I'm going to try to link everything that I'm wearing down below in the description box. I love to pair these with jean shorts and a t-shirt laid back. I live in Florida. I travel a lot. I'm at the beach a lot. So I thought these would be an upscale, you know, casual look. So I paired it with a sundress and I'll link that in the description as well. I like to dress very comfortable. If I'm not filming, this is how I'm normally dressed. No makeup, um, no nails, no polish, and I just take a break. But when I'm working, I like to wear a lot of high-end fashion and I like to do my makeup to a T. So here I am in Sicily, Italy, and I'm walking around. Something caught my eye. This cute little store we went to in Sicily sold a lot of kitchen accessories and I really love lemons. So anything with blue and lemons, I love. It has a Mediterranean look to it and I really, really enjoy decorating my kitchen with pops of color. Not all year, but during the summer, I really love to do it, especially in my backyard. I have a dining room table back there and I just love to decorate it. It makes it look fun and festive and it's great for when you have company. You Know, you could just kind of pull out your little lemon trees and the matching napkins i love that So here we are at a restaurant in Greece, and this is the menu here. And I love ecstatic pictures. So here's a picture of my cappuccino, my purse with my sunglasses. Shout out to the aesthetic girls out there. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little lunch here. When you go to the Mediterranean, make sure you wear something comfortable. There's a lot of walking and a lot of eating. Me and my husband calculated that we walked 64 miles on our 10 day trip, so that's very far. Here's the Amalfi Coast. It's very, very pretty, and I just love the views that's in Italy. I have to go back very, very soon. <laughs> What I love about the Mediterranean is Italy. Italy was my favorite place to go. This is Messina, and I love the shirt that I picked up. It's so cute. And this is a real quartet band that plays on the street every day. Let's go to the Louis Vuitton store in Messina, Italy, and 
take a look. I had to ask for permission to film. I really couldn't film that much, but look at the detail in the ceiling. It is so pretty, it's hand painted. So it's the same model, but in a different color, so 490 with taxes, so. It went down a price. Yeah. It would be something like 400 euro. When, when these came out, I paid 850 for them in Chicago. And I recommend that you go to this store because the prices is almost half off of what they are in America versus in Italy. Those are the ones that Mr. Traveler picked up when he was there. I really love the frames. They're very durable and they were half off the prices that's here in America. So I did some filming. Look at the detail on the walls. <laughs> I've had to sneak and, you know, film a little bit, but here you go. Real marble, plaster, the real deal. It was white glove service there, and me and Mr. Traveler really enjoyed shopping there. It was a fantastic experience, and I recommend it. Here we are in Mykonos, Greece. We also visit Santorini. It was a cute look with the towels and the people were so warm as you can see the waiter was playing the joke on me so we went to turkey and i picked up a turkish rug the turkish rug was amazing the customer service for this particular shop was incredible and they explained each and every turkish rug the process and everything and how long it takes and what they have to do to go through it to make it i picked up a rug it took 12 weeks to ship it. The video is late because I've been waiting on my rug to get here so I can show you guys. This is what I picked up and here it is in my home. Thank you to my brother and my husband for gifting me for my 50th birthday. Here is Venus and there's a story behind Venus. Mr. Traveler carried it all the way from the Vatican in his book bag to the port. It was so heavy, it ripped, and it was 40 pounds. This is Venus. She reminds me of my mother. And I also got to get a, you know, a male bus, but I got to figure out which one. And I also picked up this one. This is Julius Caesar. We picked him up in Rome from the Vatican. And that piece of rock is from Ephesus, Ephesians in the Bible. So here we are eating again. <laughs> and I really like the affirmations that they have in front of the menus. Everything is in Greek and you can actually talk to any of the waiters and waitresses. It can help figuring out the translation from Greece to English. So here is a lemon cello custard dessert that I, me and Mr. Traveler enjoy so much. We ate so much we decided to do a sport with our group, Go ATVN, and we hope that you enjoyed this video. Please comment and subscribe, and if you are enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Live your dreams, glam your lifestyle. Take care. Bye, everyone.